Well now, another chance to have your say, this time on a health debate that just refuses to go away. The Senate wants the Australian vaccination network shut down to stop it from promoting its anti-vaccination message. Tonight you hear both sides of the argument put forward and you can reach your own conclusion. This is the point here. Secret recordings. Hang on, you're calling me dishonest now. Why are you doing that? A political vendetta. Doctors are called killers and terrorists and vaccinations linked or likened to rape. And deadly online threats. It's Australia's vaccination debate where both sides are needling each other with accusations of foul play and rich lies. The tactics they've used to spread their message of fear and doubt to unsuspecting parents are abhorrent. That's Dr Richard like Di Natale from the Greens taking a knife to the controversial zero. Australian vaccination network. You are. You're saying if I was more honest, that indicates that you'd feel that I'm not honest at the moment. Why? And that's AVN boss Greg Beatty in a secret telephone recording heading back at Di Natale and his war on AVN. The group's accused of peddling questionable science linking immunisation and autism, using apprehended violence orders to silence vaccine supporters and harassing grieving families who've lost children to disease. I condemn them, the Australian Greens condemn them and the Australian Senate condemns them. Tonight, have your say. Should the AVN be disbanded? Before I became a senator, I was a GP. As a GP, one of the most important things I did was to vaccinate young kids. Vaccination is responsible for saving hundreds of millions of lives. Of course, it's up to each individual parent to decide whether to vaccinate their kids, but that decision has to be based on accurate information. What the AVN do is to deliberately knowingly spread misinformation about vaccines. They exaggerate the risks and they downplay the benefits. They put your child at risk. I've seen young children die from vaccine preventable diseases. That's why it's so important the AVN stop their campaign of misinformation. It's why the Senate's taken a stand. It's why I've taken a stand and it's why you shouldn't listen to the AVN. Outlawing discussion is simply not an option in a democracy. The AVN facilitates discussion on vaccines so that consumers can become better informed. What's happened here is a small group has tried to destroy us by spreading stories, and Di Natale has swallowed them hook, line and sinker. Not a word of what he said about us was true, and he never bothered to check his facts at all. Uh, for the record, the AVN has never ended engaged in uh, harassing any grieving family whatsoever. That's nothing but slander. Also, our founder took out an apprehended violence order because of a series of threatening phone calls made to her home in the middle of the night. Now, Greens leader Senator Milne needs to clarify, does she support this senator who wants to turn the Australian Senate into a gossip chamber? Well, that's where the viewer vote is heading. We'll have the final result at the end of the program.